Have you ever wondered how this works? I'm a chemist and I have a chemistry podcast called Chemistry for Your Life where we talk about everyday life questions like this. And one of my listeners wrote in and asked me, what is the science behind curling ribbon? And it turns out there is actually scientific research into how that works. So in a ribbon, uh, there's a lot of individual molecules all lined up and they're all sort of bound to one another through attractive forces that we call intermolecular forces. So they're how molecules stay close and grouped up together. I'm gonna use a little square or rectangle that I crocheted as an example. And even though ribbon's really thin and you can't always see it, there are lots of layers, just like there's two layers or two rows of stitches in this um, crocheted rectangle. So we have layers and layers of molecules in our ribbon, just like we do have layers in this square. And as we put the blade on the ribbon, the side opposite the blade will be forced to stretch, but it's not gonna stretch the whole ribbon, just the topmost layer of molecules. So it's essentially gonna change those intermolecular forces that are grouping the molecules up and they're going to start to spread out. And just like you can see with this version of my rectangle, it's the same number of stitches on top and bottom, but when there's a little bit of extra space in between each one, it starts to take on a weird curved shape. So in our ribbon, we're doing the same thing. The bottom layer is unchanged, but the top layer gets stretched out and then the overall shape of the ribbon starts to be changed as a result of the changes on the molecular level. And that's what's happening at the molecular level of the ribbon. Now, if you wanna know more about the molecules or the science behind it, you can check out today's episode of Chemistry for Your Life. And if not, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Also look at my Christmas sweater, isn't it cute? It was my grandma's. It's got wreaths and presents. I thought it was appropriate for ribbon.